gloomy day for a video, but <coughs> hopefully it will record the sound even with the engine running. So you'll get narration from me. So just for the purposes of whoever's watching this, um, Catherine is the driver at the moment and uh, we're at Shirley Station in the car park and the road over the railway bridge in front of us, just behind the big tree, is closed due to roadworks. It's a Sunday, it's a bit gloomy, it's raining, so um, I'm going to tell Catherine, or ask her rather, if she knows how to turn the windscreen wipers on once she's got everything set the way she likes it. Do you know where the... It would be, yes. Let me just wipe the peanut. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit, fragments of peanut on the steering wheel there that I'm brushing out the way. So you could turn your engine on, because you're in neutral. Good. And then to bring the wipers on, just to give you a, a clean screen, it's yes, now it's in auto mode. And that will confirm that it's in auto. That message will disappear, but that green symbol, which is the picture of the front windscreen with a wiper blade on it, will stay on. Okay, good. We've got our, our outside lights set to auto as well, so if it gets gloomier, they will come on automatically. You drive on whenever you're ready, out of our one-way car park. Isn't it? I don't think we've seen another single pedestrian here since we've been in the car. No. So we're going to start off by driving to Shirley uh, Driving Test Centre. So we're going to turn left out of the car park. The signs in front warning us that we're meeting two-way traffic on this road. It is really blocked, yes. Okay. That's good. Yeah, the man in the red car thinks only just worked out, having driven right up to the roadblock, that the road doesn't go through any further. Any warning signs warning you of anything in particular? No. Very good. Which one was it? Was it this one? Um, don't know yet, so just keep the speed the same as this. Those people, I think, are far enough away from the crossing, they're not going to be. Take this road, we'll keep going. We'll take the second road on the right, that's the first one. Okay. It's where the blue car is waiting to come out. So I'm watching her eyes to see if they check. Yes. Say, is it? That's right, yes. Always start with the centre one. Yeah. Kind of gives you the truest impression of what's behind. And then you supplement it with the one on the side that you'll be turning to. Somebody else practicing put their L on upside down. your hand position on the steering wheel <laughs> to see whether your hands are curling around it or whether they're keeping on the outside which is safer for you and although it won't be what you're used to it will give you more control of the wheel good very nice gear change nice in terms of coordination of feet nice also in terms of very light movement with the hand it doesn't matter if your hand is not angled on the lever as long as you've got a light enough touch to um, make sure that it's going in the direction you want. Good, which mirror would you use now before moving? I would use, yes, I would use the right one. If you're stationary and you're about to move off in a straight line, anything that's already behind you is probably going to carry on waiting behind you. There might be somebody that's already moved out to the right and is about to come past you. You're not wrong to suggest both of those, because if there was nobody waiting behind you, you might have somebody coming up quite quickly. And they might not have time to cut the slow down, they might swerve to go around the outside of you. And you've got fully appropriate speed for this road that's got these little um, speed chicanes in them to try and calm the traffic down. At the end of the road, let's go to the left, please. interesting about this junction? It's a stop sign. Okay. Well done. still moving a tiny bit by the time we got up to the stop line. 
sorry. That's fine. Now do a little bit of gas. Yeah, just turn the key again. So just give a little bit of gas first. I'll help with the clutch. Oh yeah. There you go. I think I've been forgetting then to put the gas on before I let it. That's right. slightly confusing because that blue sign grabs my attention and makes me think that all traffic has to go right. Of course it doesn't. Move the car back just a little to get the rear of the car fully into the bay because it's quite narrow here. So, and people swing in. If you come off the clutch on the foot brake, I'll just tuck the rear of the car in. I apologise for the busted left mirror. It's um, going to be replaced in the next day or two. I was watching that silver car over there and the learner that's behind us as well. Surrender. 
two parking spaces here. Um, each has its own disadvantage. Um, this one has the disadvantage of you've got to steer out quite a lot to get around that piece of curb and then steer sharply left. The earlier one has the disadvantage of being harder to get the whole car into if people are making the turn that we've just done, um, which most people are coming here. Okay, um, since it's not raining, the best thing to do is to have a walk around uh, about 50 yards down, 50 metres down this road, just to have a look at the road markings and the signs, and then we can drive around through the one-way system and come out again. Um, so I'll end this recording here, um, if I can remember how to do it.